Good morning, everyone. Rachel from The Free Change. This morning we'll be discovering the power of smell and I'll be taking you through step by step how smell works and how it influences um, our emotional health and well-being. So I'll be referring to some notes throughout this video and I hope that you'll be able to pop some of your thoughts and feelings in the comments and we'll be able to revisit those, um, you know, as things come up for you. So firstly, we've been using essential oils for seven years now, and we originally started using them for our physical health and well-being. And then we moved on, as it does, very naturally into your emotional health and well-being. So smells and aromatherapy are a very, very pivotal way that you can begin to transform your health and well-being of your home and of yourself. So smells are gateways to memories and they invoke powerful emotions and all of the emotions that may have been dormant in the back of your mind or from many, many years ago. The smell or the human olfactory system is one of the most complex systems in the body and it ties into all other senses, including the brain and the organs. So have you ever wondered why a certain smell can take you back to a time or a place or a memory? Have you ever stopped to consider how um, your body can be covered in goosebumps, how tears can fall from your eyes, or how your heart rate can increase and you can become anxious or fearful because of a single smell? So I want to take you through um, the process of how smell works this isn't something they teach us in school. It's not something that um, it's explored deeply. It's just you either like a smell or you don't. And there's never any exploration any deeper than that. So that's my intention of the video today. So firstly, the smells of vaporized odor molecules or chemicals floating in the air. They reach the nostril and they dissolve into the mucus, which is on the roof of each nostril. Underneath the mucus is the olfactory epithelium specialized receptor cells called olfactory receptor neurons detect the odor. These neurons are capable of detecting thousands of different odors. Step three, the olfactory receptor neurons transmit the information to the olfactory bulbs, which are located at the back of the nose. Step four, the olfactory bulbs, a bulb has sensory receptors that are actually part of the brain and sends messages directly to the most primitive brain centers where they influence emotions and memories in the limbic system structures and higher centers where the body modifies conscious thought in the neocortex. Step five, these brain centers perceive odors and access memories to remind us about people, places or events associated with these olfactory sensations. So I'm not sure if that's new information to you, but as I began to learn that, it dawned on me, wow, that is why smells trigger me. That is why smells make me emotional. That is why my um, anxiety will increase around other certain smells. It made so much more sense. So it's important to add that smell is 10,000 more times sensitive than any other of our senses and recognition of smell is immediate. So other senses like touch and taste have to be put through and travel through the body via other neurons, the spinal cord before reaching the brain. The olfactory response is immediate and therefore you will feel it. It extends directly to the brain. So your emotional response is immediate. And that is why smells are so powerful. The smell and the limbic system is, a, is an incredibly powerful um, system in itself. The olfactory bulb is one of the structures of the limbic system and it is a very ancient part of the brain. As mentioned, the olfact in the description of the um, olfactory process, the information captured goes directly from the olfactory bulb and other structures to the limbic system. And it is a network of connected structures near the middle of the brain and within the central nervous system itself. They work together 
to influence and affect a wide range of emotions, behaviors, motivation, and memory. So this is where we start to see just how powerful the um, essential oils can be in regulating our moods and emotions in a proactive sense or helping us calm and um, come back to a, set, a state of um, comfort and stillness if we're experiencing things like anxiety. The system deals with instinctive and automatic behaviours that has little, if anything, to do with conscious thought or will. So it's completely... Um, Auto, autonom, uh, automatic when you smell your body will go into that into that cycle of responding and reacting so there's been so many studies re relating to aromatherapy and smell and I could list um, at least a good few hundred that I've looked over in my time of trying to understand how this works and how incredibly powerful our bodies are Different um, studies, works, have showed that odour-cured memories are more um, emotional than memories triggered by physical or verbal cues. So there's so many studies that prove this theory based on smell alone. And when you start to explore, when people say, oh, gosh, I cannot stand the smell of a hospital setting and that really... Um, that really empty sort of, uh, what, what would you, bleach environment. And it triggers, it makes me feel X, Y, or Z. There's usually a very profound story behind some sort of trauma that they experienced in a hospital setting where their smell has anchored in and responding, their body is responding to that smell as if it's happening in the moment. So when you anticipate um, stress or anxiety in your daily life, when you think about a stressful work environment, when you think about going on social media and it's very stressful, when you think about visiting a family or friend that's quite um, hard to be around at times, when you anticipate stress, you are living in a state of anxiety. You are anticipating and your, your body is going to respond to those stress hormones how does your, your body respond? Have a think about that and have a think next level. A lot of people say we have anxiety and, and we have um, PTSD and, and it's as if it exists outside of us, like it's out, out of our control. And I know for a fact that in, in many cases, parts of it are out of your control. But when you have essential oils and aromatherapy and you understand and you know the science behind how a smell can, you can rewrite your bodily responses and you can rewrite the emotional triggers based on smell through the limbic system, your olfactory system and connecting to your brain and your emotions, you begin to feel that level of empowerment that has been lost. So the auto autonomic nervous system is part of our brain that controls our fight or flight. So how many of us are living in that fight or flight phase right now? in this time on this planet. Factors like our heart rate and our respiratory rate, when we're breathing, our shallow breathing, when we're facing a stressful situation, part of the brain activates and your body responds with those physical signs, shallow breathing, quickened pulse, etc., etc. The adrenaline is increasing. And this can be something that we're premeditating, like we're thinking, oh, gee, I hope I don't. Or it can be something that you're responding to in the moment, um, like an unexpected stressful event has occurred. So scents have the ability to slow down and prevent these bodily responses if you understand to the depth of your core how they actually work. They're not just pretty smells. They are scientifically proven, powerful mood regulators. And that is something that I hope everyone can begin to explore and understand every time you open one of your bottles, just what a difference it will make when you're anchoring in new responses and new emotional, um, you know, behaviors to that smell. So let's explore very quickly 
four of my favorite or two of my favorite single oils to support mood and emotion and then just two blends doTERRA have many many oils and many many blends this is a very personal journey where you get to decide and you get to um, trial different kinds of smells and scents that work for you it is not a two panadol twice a day mentality where something that works for me is guaranteed to work for you it is taking your power back and understanding that mother nature is complex and doTERRA have done everything they can to simplify this journey for us. So lavender oil has been studied a lot and I won't go into too much depth. I know we've gone through lavender oil in a previous video, but I just wanted to read to you one um, significant study. The objective was to investigate the efforts of lavender oil to, to on the central nervous system and the autonomy, uh, autonomy autonomic nervous system and mood responses in humans after inhalation only. 20 health volunteers participated in this experiment and at the present study assessed the par parameters such as blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, skin temperature, arousal level of the nervous system. In addition, the subjects were asked to estimate their, their mood responses, such as feeling pleasant, unpleasant, comfortable, sensuality, relaxation, um, and assessing the subject behavioral arousal in terms of their relax, relaxation state. Finally, an EEG was recorded from 31 electrodes on the scalp. And according to the international 10 to 20 system, the EEG power spectra were calculated and the data was analyzed by comparing the effects of lavender oil on the psychological and mood states. These assessments were measured before and after and paired in a paired T statistical procedure. So that all might sound like mumbo jumbo, but it just goes to show that's just one of hundreds, if not thousands of tests that have been done and um, completed on lavender essential oil. The results revealed that lavender caused significant decreases of blood pressure, heart rate and skin temperature, which indicated a decrease of autonomic arousal. In terms of mood responses, the subjects in the lavender oil group categorized themselves as more active, fresher, relaxed than subjects just inhaling a separate base oil. Compared with a base oil, lavender oil increased the power of theta 4.8 HD and alpha 8 to 13 HD brain activities. The topographic map showed obviously more scattering power in alpha range waves, particularly in bilateral and temporal and central area. The conclusion, the findings provided evidence of the relaxing effect of inhaling lavender oil. So that's just one, one single oil and with many, many different uses. But in terms of relaxation, and in terms of calming your body and your mind, one drop in your hand and inhaling lavender oil is a, a very, very powerful way of rewiring a calming smell um, through your olfactory system and your limbic system into your mind and, and responding to new emotions and living empowered with regards to your levels of stress and anxiety. Another essential oil that we use on the daily is Copaiba essential oil. Um, this is specifically used for us with our, our mental health and it has transformed our lives. Now, there is so, so much information regarding um, our doTERRA Copaiba on our website. Similar effects, the easiest way I can describe this oil, it has similar effects to CBD without the psychoactive effects. Many people believe that or have been wondering if copaiba is a cannabinoid itself like CBD. While copaiba isn't itself a cannabinoid, it does contain some cannabinoid-like terpenes such as beta-carophyllene. Copaiba does not inherently contain CBD. So what is beta-carophyllene? The only terpene known to interact with the endocannabinoid system. 
So it's the only terpene known to interact with that system. And if you're unaware that we actually have a system, I would highly suggest looking into the endocannabinoid system and the receptors in our body and what they regulate because it is an incredibly eye-opening journey. So an analgesic, relieving pain, anti-inflammatory, decreasing inflammation and swelling gradually, antibacterial curtails the growth of bacteria. Um, antidepressant mitigates various indicators of um, depression symptoms and an antioxidant, just some, some uses and some of the powerful um, effects of beta carophyllene on the body. So how do we use that? You can, again, put a drop in your hand and inhale this deeply. You can pop it in a diffuser and inhale it deeply. You can dilute it with coconut oil and apply it topically. Um, we choose and our family chooses to pop a drop under our tongue, which will obviously work directly in terms of uh, aromatherapy. We get to smell, we get to taste, and the oil gets to work its magic on our system immediately. So blends. There are so, so many different blends, but I wanted to explore quickly two blends that have been a huge, huge positive um, had a huge positive impact on our lives. An individual oil, when we, when we talk about those, are things like, well, um, orange, lavender, chamomile, um, magnolia, all of the individual plants um, that doTERRA have distilled and created an essential oil for. When doTERRA creates specialised and signature blends, they do so with science in mind. They do so... Um, by looking at all the different um, properties of these individual oils and blending them together to create the most powerful impact in a certain area of your life. So the first essential oil that we will explore for um, that you can use aromatically for stress and um, grounding is balanced grounding blends. So it has a warm woody aroma in it. Um, it's it's made up of spruce, hoewood, frankincense, blue tansy, and chamomile. And the way that we use this essential oil is simple. A drop in the hand, rubbing your hands together, and a big, and I usually say to our children, how old are you? They might say 10, and I say take 10 big, deep, mindful breaths. So the feelings and the thoughts that I have personally anchored to this smell is I am calm, I am strong, I am in control. And I have used that essential oil for most of my wellness journey. So in the beginning, we use the oil and you can think about the thoughts that you want to anchor to that smell. So before a, stress, a stressful situation, I can be proactive and apply that oil. I am calm, I am strong, I am in control, which helps my body do what? Respond to the smell, respond to my thought of the smell and create a physical response to that smell and those thoughts. So that is decreasing my heart rate, helping with my blood pressure, alleviating all of the, the um unraveling effects of thoughts around anxiety and stress. So this has been formulated um, with very, very powerful essential oils. And so too has the next essential oil that I want to explore, which is adaptive tranquil blends. So adaptive comes in a touch or so does balance, but adaptive, this one is a touch blend already diluted in coconut oil. It has orange, lavender, spearmint, magnolia, rosemary, and sweet gum. And it has um, a beautiful aroma, like a perfume or a pure fume, soothing and uplifting to the emotions. The idea behind that oil was to amplify, and which is why I love it, it ties in the specific essential oils that I've mentioned earlier, lavender and copaiba are part of this tranquil blend. So doTERRA have done the blending for us. doTERRA have done the scientific profile of each individual plant 
and paired it together and blended it together to help us regulate our moods and emotions in a proactive or a reactive sense. So how to use these blends and how to get the most out of them. It's understanding that we're no longer, when you are on an essential oils journey, we're no longer waiting to feel like we're out of control. We're no longer waiting to experience full-blown symptoms of a panic attack. We are starting to create and rewire our own ability to control and influence our own emotions based on smell and backed by the scientific properties of the essential oils and how they influence and interact with our chemical and our makeup, our chemical and genetic makeup. But the idea is that we begin to feel powerful enough to say, I'm about to go to work or I'm about to go to the shop and I usually feel, it usually makes me feel uncomfortable, nervous, like my heart's um, you know, racing. So we would have the essential oil or you would have the essential oil that you've been working with on you and you would open it up, you might be just before you leave the house, you might be in the car and you would say, I'm applying the oil to you. your mantra, I'm peaceful, I'm calm, I'm in control, I'm grounded, whatever word you're anchoring with this smell, whatever feelings and emotions you want to anchor with this smell, you can take this with you on your journey of walking the shops, of going to school drop off, of doing any single thing that would usually bring you undone. Again, having self-belief, um, accountability and awareness that you are scientifically influencing your moods and emotions and regulating those using the power of aromatherapy. They're not just a pretty smell. You have to understand how this works and how the power of smell truly can help you through stress, and anxiety in your daily life. We want to shift from responding and getting into a situation where we are out of control and we, we create our heart rate increasing and our um, breathing goes shallow and we're causing stress on our body to creating a deeper connection with our body and our mind and our spirit and understanding that the power of aromatherapy helps us live empowered and sets the precedence for our children. For our children to see us saying, I would usually, I'm anticipating a stressful environment. I have the power to create a new response. Watch what mummy is about to do. Watch what daddy is about to do. Children see everything and they will mimic your behavior. So no longer will we be out of control, we will be in control and empowered. And that is the power of smell. So if you want any more information around the scientific profile of the blends or of the oils that I've mentioned, doTERRA has an incredible site, source2.com. And also on, our, on the website, in the main doTERRA website, you could go off and follow all of the science behind any of the oils. Um, to give you that peace of mind that these are more than just pretty little smells in a bottle and they can truly, truly help you begin to live empowered and to take your power back over your emotional health and well-being. I hope you enjoyed our session and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.